Good morning. Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday morning, and it is our um, Thanksgiving dinner at my place of employment. So, um, this morning I am going to bake um, a. Uh, sorry, guys, I'm delayed. Um, a sweet potato casserole. Uh, with just stuff that I have laying around the house. Um, I feel like it's going to be fantastically, wonderfully good. Um, but, I, you know, I didn't have the time to go to the grocery store and get what I needed. Um, so I was like, okay, I'm just going to use some stuff that I already have. So, um, yeah, that's what we're doing. And it's going to be interesting and it's going to be fantastic, I'm sure. All right, I have my oven preheating to 400. Um, I've just got two cans of yams that I am going to put in my little mixing bowl right here. All right. And I'm rinsing off an egg. <laughs> my husband ate all of the other eggs, all the fresh eggs, um, but I do have one green one left um, but i need to check it for blood spots so um i can't tell you how how exciting it is to get your first green egg all right it looks fantastic um, so we've got an, a green egg layer and a brown egg layer that have been laying every day so if i could just get the other three um, doing what they need to do. That'd be fantastic. Um, Alright, so I'm going to add in another egg. I can't wait till I don't have to buy store-bought eggs anymore. I'm excited about that. Very excited. Um, so yeah, are you guys getting ready for your big meal on Thursday? Um, Today is the last day, I got a shell in there, um, to send me your recipes, okay? It is the last day because I'm going to um, cook Wednesday and I'll need tomorrow, well, I'll need today to get what I need. Okay, so I've got two eggs in here of a dog chewing on a hanger. Um, I'm going to put uh, about tablespoon, couple tablespoons of vanilla extract, the fake kind. I'm going in with some ground cinnamon, probably about a teaspoon of that, and I'm going to do a teaspoon of the pumpkin spice. All right, now let me get my sugar. Well, let me, let me do this real quick. I'm going to mash these up. I'm, I'm mashing these up the old school way. Uh, mainly because I don't want to get my mixer out. Um, that would be the main reason why. <laughs> We're just going to mash these up old school. All right, I'm going to get these mashed up and I'll be right back. All right, now you guys get to see the unveiling of some brown sugar that I uh, vacuum sealed in June of 2022. I am sorry, my dog has the zoomies right now. <laughs> and she keeps running in and out the doggy door. Um, she was actually very easy to house train, um, which is very shocking to me. Okay, all right. So what I did was I put it in a Mylar bag and then I vacuum sealed it. This was over a year ago, guys. Almost a year and a half ago. And let me tell you what. Let me, sh let me just show you. This stuff is as moist as ever. Like, just let me. I don't want to, because I'm going to be putting it in. I don't want to use my fingers to show y'all the moistness. Well, let's just do this right here. Okay. All right. See how moist that is? It's not hard. So yeah, that was an experiment for me. We're gonna be doing that again. All right, so I am going to put 
a good amount of brown sugar in here. Probably a cup uh, to a cup and a half. Um, I'm going to save the rest of the brown sugar for the topping. This would not be a good recipe for a diabetic, okay? I'm just going to tell you that right now. We're going to go in with probably about a cup of sh regular uh, granulated sugar. Again, not, most definitely not for the diabetic, okay? So I'm going to get this mixed in. I'm going to melt some butter, and y'all know I put it in a mason jar because it doesn't splatter, okay? Okay, I'm going to add just a little bit more sugar in there. She legitimately has the zoomies. It's so funny. <laughs> I wish y'all could see it instead of just hear it, but it's quite funny. All right. And I think that might be good. And I might add just a little, another splash of vanilla in here. I should get it to what I need. All right. Now I'm going to spray my baking dish. If I can find, there it is, the spray that I like. Okay, I'm just going to do that. And I've got my butter. Let me know that it's done. See y'all. Mason jar. It doesn't splash. This is a whole stick. I'm just going to put a little bit in there. In my little mixture right here. Alright. Now. that's all good and blended so in the comments below let me know what your plans are are you traveling um what what is your family tradition um, ours is typically we um, decorate ornaments and we put up the christmas tree but this year i wanted to put the christmas tree up so I wouldn't have to worry about the house being too messed up with the boxes and the ornament boxes and all the things. So I went ahead and put my tree up. And let me tell you, I cried. <laughs> I cried because this is the first year since I've had kids that I have put the tree up by myself. Um, now my husband was here. He's the one that like set the tree up. I just decorated it, but yeah, it was, it was very painful. And this empty nest stuff ain't no joke, y'all. It ain't no joke. All right. So again, I, uh, I hit record and I did not. Guys, y'all, I'm losing my mind. Okay, I've got a pan over here. It doesn't have anything in it yet. Um, but I'm using Rice Krispie Treats. Be or Rice Krispies because I do not have any cornflakes and I feel like it's going to be just the same and um, so I'm putting the rest of the butter in my pan All right, and I'm going to put a pretty decent healthy portion of these probably gosh maybe three cups um, because that's going to I'm going to cook down, and I'm going to put in the rest of this brown sugar, which is about a cup. And I'm going to hit it with some vanilla. About, yeah, about two tablespoons of that. And we're just going to mix this around and cook it on down. All right. And when this is done, we will take our mixture and put it on top. Now, I'm doing something a little bit different. I have pumpkin spice marshmallows. 
So I am going to do a layer of this. I've never tried these. Let me try one. Ah, not bad, not bad. Hmm. All right. I'm going to put a layer of these on top. Just kind of sprinkle them around. They're really cute. They're little pumpkin shaped. Super cute. I got these at the Walmart. All right. Now. I think I need to put some more butter in my pan over here. All right, so I'm just going to put about half a stick of butter in this. But I'm going to cut it up in little chunks. That way it's easier to melt down. All right. <clears throat> there we go. Let me see what that does. All right, I'm going to let this cook down and I'll be right back. All right, I've got this cooked down, and I'm just going to spread this on the top and just kind of mix it around and get this done, and I'll be right back. I think I am going to make another batch of this and put it on top. I want a pretty decently thick top crust. So I'm going to go through that process again, and I'll bring you back. I'm going to open up another vacuum-sealed brown sugar. Okay, so for you vacuum sealers out there, um, I vacuum sealed this one, this brown sugar in a paper bag. Um, it is not as moist as the Mylar bags. So if you're going to vacuum seal brown sugar, use the Mylar bag to put it in and then vacuum seal it. Um, because it was just like, I mean, it was just like you get it out of the store, just as soft as it could be. All right, y'all, I've got brown sugar everywhere, and I don't want that cooking on the eye. <laughs> I just don't. Okay, all right, so about to make caramel over here. <laughs> all right, let me get this off the heat, and now I'm going to pour in my... Little Rice Krispie Treats. I'm just going to do it all up. Just going to do that whole thing. All right, I'm going to get this mixed up and I'm going to pour it on top. All right, now this one, this batch, I made it just a little bit drier because I want it to be crunchy. So I'm going to pour this on the top and I'll bring you right back. All right, I've got it all put in the baking dish. I'm going to take just a few more marshmallows and place them on the top. And I'm going to bake this for about 30 minutes at 400, and I will bring you back. While that is baking, I'm going to throw together a real quick um, cranberry salad. Just a very quick one. Um, I'm just trying to get everything that I need. Just three ingredients in this bad boy. Oh my goodness, this puppy, y'all. This puppy. What is your deal, Pickle? Huh? Why you got the zoomies? Why you got the zoom zoomers? Okay, I'm trying to find my pecans, so maybe they're in here. Okay, bear with me, guys. Okay, y'all, I finally found my pecans, but I also found sweetened cranberries and pecans. So instead of just the regular pecans, y'all, it's called Use What You Have <laughs> and Don't Be Ashamed. Um, and I feel like this is going to taste so much better in cranberry salad than anything else. We're gonna give it a, go a good college try. Okay, so I just have a can of jellied cranberry sauce from the Dollar Gentral. 
And we're just going to give that an old chopperoo, choppy mixy roo. And I'm going to open up this can of mandarin oranges. I'm going to scoop some of these mandarin oranges in here. And I'm probably going to do half of this can. I'm going to save the other half for Thanksgiving Day because I am in charge of bringing the cranberry salad on Thanksgiving. Now I'm just going to chop these little mandarin oranges up just a tad. This is going to be a longer video, I think, than normal, but that's okay. Y'all, it's cooking and it's therapy for me. So cooking is my therapy. And so I'm going to get this all mixed up and chopped up and I'll bring you right back. All right, so I've got this all mixed up. Just kind of finely checking it to make sure there's no big chunks of the jelly or of the oranges. All right, now I'm going to take my sweetened cranberries and candied pecans. And I'm just going to put the whole thing in there. I love putting this on top of my salad. Um, and that is all that is going in my cranberry salad. Just like two minutes to make, but super delicious. All right, y'all, some of it has already been eaten um, because I had to rush out. I had missed a meeting, I forgot, and was baking this, so you didn't get to see it right out of the oven. But here's some with it taken out. <laughs> it is delicious, y'all. I'm so happy that I made this. All right, guys, get me your recipes. Um, today is the deadline. That way I can go out and buy what I need tomorrow. I love you guys, but Jesus loves y'all more. Bye. <laughs>